Hey folks, so um, this is my full video of the tone check of uh, this guitar. It's uh, my new Chapman ML Pro, no, ML1 Pro Modern in Zima Blue, I think is the correct uh, Finnish name. If you uh, came to this video because you just uh, entered the guitar model name in the search bar, very nice, appreciate that. Um, if you are here because you follow me on my channel already, even better. So if you are not already, please subscribe, it really means the world to me. Um, and if you came here because of this little teaser I made on my Instagram profile, this is, I mean, this is what I wanted to uh, achieve with this teaser. So if you don't follow me on, on Instagram, just uh, look for aeons underscore pass and um, you will find my Instagram profile. Um, so without further ado, to this guitar now. So as I said, it's a um, Chapman ML1 Pro Modern, um, which has this insane uh, finish. As you can see here, this looks really insane. It's like a really deep blue with a very, very raw wood finish. You can see this here it's, and hear it maybe even. It's really, really raw. It has a three-piece um, maple neck, which is roasted. It has uh, the hip shot open gear locking tuners, um, a roasted maple board, um, Seymour Duncan, uh, this is a Pegasus, this is a Sentient pickup, a volume tone, five-way switch, and the only difference to um, my other Kiesel guitars regarding the five-way switching positions is that Position two is basically the bridge pickup split with the neck and four is basically the neck pickup split, the outer coil, with the bridge. So slightly different tones, but let's get to the tones. Um, yeah, the signal chain is pretty easy. It's my guitar into my effect board. Um, on this effect board my Walrus Audio Deep 6 compressor is on, because this is always on. And um, my Boss EQ 200, with just to slightly tweak the guitar tone, so it uh, suits better the room environment, so um, less bottom end rumble and all that stuff, especially when you play distorted, but nothing else. And then for the cleans, I go into this uh, Victory V40 hat, uh, the, 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 the Duchess, it's in voice 2, so it's the more Fenderish like voice, I guess. And for the uh, distorted tones, we will use this uh, Randall um, RD100 head. It, it's the same head I used when I recorded this Instagram teaser. Um, yeah, both amps um, as well as the effect board are connected to my MP switcher here, so we can even switch caps if we want to. Um, and yeah, one thing to before before um, before I really start with the tones, I decided deliberately not to record the tones through my DAW because uh, most probably then the sounds would be amazing. Maybe even with a bit of after processing or whatever, but uh, what I wanted to deliver to you is how the guitar really sounds when you are in a normal room environment and practicing. Because I think when, uh, when it's up to recording you can get uh, almost every guitar to work, um, except maybe if it's a really shitty guitar. But um, what you will hear is basically the same thing I hear here in the room and uh, let's hope for the best that this works. So starting with the clean tones. <laughs> describe it as quite clean, chimey, um, not too rich in the very high register so it, it doesn't hurt your ears. It's very a creamy a clean tone. <laughs> Let me switch to the split position. Middle position. Oops. Position 
inzwischen vor. Usually I like for cleans the position for the most on my uh, on my other guitars. I think on this guitar I would go on the second position. Just a bit more chimey than the uh, the position four. Full neck. this quite a bit. So let's get to the distorted tones. So we will now, uh, ah, we will first of all, this was the 4x12. If we go to this cab, which is a 2x12 loaded with V30 speakers, these are different ones, don't ask me, 30 years old. This, These are V40s. <laughs> This is why I use this cab usually for my clean stuff. Combine both caps. I think I like the position two the most. And if you now add some ambience to it, let's see how this sounds. I would say so perfect for recording and also perfect for my practicing here so um, yeah let's get to the distorted tones by switching to the other amp so what I have now here is a precision drive from Horizon devices um, this is only to pull out the bottom rumble so I don't use the gate feature I don't use the drive feature it's just uh, to make the go more so it sounds a bit better here in the room environment and my main drive here is uh, my VFE Dragon as always and let's see how it sounds with the render <laughs> one year ago the last time. for chugging. Um, I would say the mid-spectrum is quite, how to say this, um, it's balanced. So there is not this shrill upper highs, uh, upper mids, and not, too many, no, not too much of the lower mid stuff. Um, it's not scratching your ears or whatever. Um, it, it, it just sounds good, I must say. <laughs>
killer. Let's see how the split position sounds. What was the riff? Mid position. Not enough gain, I guess. Um, I usually have the gain only on uh, one o'clock, I would say, so it's not very much gain. Uh, the the overdrive pushes the front of the amp um, quite a bit, but I usually keep the, for my, for my rhythm stuff, I keep the um, distortion or the gain quite a bit down just to have a bit more control and uh, especially, if, especially if you play the chords like you really don't want to have too much wash. I mean, I have guitars that do this a bit better. So, yeah, this is basically what uh, I will do with this guitar, so I will use it mainly as a, as a rhythm guitar. What I can say playability wise is, after having it now for two or three weeks, is that um, the combination of the, of the neck shape and this um, tongue oil finish um, and the stainless steel frets that are really, really uh, worked on perfectly. So this is absolutely smooth and the, the neck is, I would say, kind of ibanez like not maybe a, exactly a wizard, maybe a little bit thicker, maybe like the, the Kiesel thinner neck option, I would say, is this. Um, it plays absolutely amazing. So playability wise, um, this is on par with my Kiesel guitars, I must say. It is, it's hard for me as a fanboy to admit, but this thing really plays amazing. The excess is good and the, these stainless steel frets, they, you can, bending is really, it's like, like butter. So, um, yeah, I do not regret buying this guitar. I will not sell this guitar, so I really uh, like it. I mean, look at that finish. This is absolutely insane. Um, and hopefully you get something out of this. If not, it is what it is. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yeah, I like the guitar. It sounds killer um, when I'm when I'm re uh, when it's recorded, especially when the bass is ed added and it all forms this really fat, well-sounding guitar bass al amalgamation. And <laughs> The sustain is very good. It stays in tune pretty well. I mean, it has locking tuners, of course, but um, nevertheless, I mean, the, the nut is quite nice. It's a GraphTech nut, I think it said. Um, yeah, a hip shot like bridge with the rounded saddle edges, which I like. So the, it's, it's not pokey in your hand. So these are rounded here on the edges. Um, so this is basically this guitar and how it sounds. Um, I really recommend it. Um, in the past I was a bit hesitant to get another um, Chapman guitar because my, my first attempt was 
not very su successful. Um, all the electronics were completely messed up, but um, this is, I mean, I think it's already two years ago or something. So when I saw this, I, I was, whoa, you have to try this out. And um, I'm very glad I did. So I got a really rad guitar. So if you like uh, this video, then maybe just give me a thumbs up. If you have any questions, of course, put it down in the comments. I will try to answer them. Um, I will try to come up with more videos on YouTube now. I'm, I was a bit lazy, I must admit, but I'm working also full time. So this is not very easy to just um, deliver. So um, yeah, maybe see you next time uh, and have a good one.